and gentlemen, I'm Virginie and today I want to tell you a story. Of course I can tell you a story like John. Okay, be quiet and listen to me. One day in a big crowded town, there was a woman. Yes, woman. Don't be mad. Her name was Adira. She worked for a creative industry company, so she had millions of fresh ideas. One day, the boss at the company held a meeting to discuss about their upcoming project. All employees would present their ideas and the best one will get chosen. Adira was one of them. One by one, employees were getting called. But strangely, Adria wasn't getting called. So she raised her hand and asked, Sir, when can I do my presentation? The boss answered with a grin. Adria, I'm sorry, my bad. I just don't want to waste my time. But go ahead. Adria was confused about her boss statement, but she tried to ignore it and do her best. As expected, everyone loved Adira's idea, but two people weren't happy at all. They were the boss and David, the boss right hand. Good job, Miss Adira, but let me show you how professional works. David, show her. Adira just wanted to blow up at that point, but she controlled her anger. Not gonna lie, David's presentation was good. But his idea... Wait! That's my idea! Adira slammed the desk and shouted. Miss Adira, I want you to stay calm! If you and the Mr. David no need to show that kind of behavior here, just admit you, women, are sensitive, brainless people. Shut up. That's it. Those words were enough to make Adria break down. She looked down and say sorry to everyone. At the end of the meeting, the boss announced the leader of the project. And David got chosen. Adria was confused. She did better than David. That was her idea. So she went to her boss and asked, Sir, I'm sorry about my behavior, but do you mind if I ask you something? You know, that was my idea. Why did you choose David? Adira, Adira, you thought I must give a woman those big responsibilities? What do you mean exactly by a woman, sir? Adira, sweetie. Don't be so naive. We all know that women can't do that kind of stuff. What will the world say a woman lets a man? You just wasted my time. Go. Adira was speechless. She couldn't say anything, so she left the office. When she got out, David approached her. Attention, everyone! The brain of the company has failed. What a pity. At least I'm not that brainless to steal someone's idea. Oh, someone is mad. <laughs> They're just prove our boss boy that women are sensitive friendless person, right everyone? <laughs> After that, David left. I did look around hoping that someone would help her, but they were just looking at her. That took enough for Adira to go to her seat and make her resignation letter. She then went to her boss office, put the letter on the desk, and say, enough of your 
gender inequality. I quit! Without waiting for his response, Ajira left the office and left the company. It took long enough for Ajira to recover from that incident. But with her strong will to prove to everyone that they were wrong, Adria started to build her own company where women like her can express their creativity without being underestimated. But we all know there were ups and downs to reset the solution result. At one moment, Adria wanted to give up. Ever 